If you want to know what you spend every month on your EV, if you want to know all of your trips, how far did you go, what was your average consumption, if you want to know all of your charging sessions, how many kilowatt hours did you charge, what is your AC to DC ratio, and you don't want to write all of this down yourself, then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and in the app or in a browser you can see all of this data. You can also have 100% text compliant driver's logbook. My viewers get 25% off if they use the link in the description below. Good morning everyone here after Skoda Enyaq 85X and now I'm gonna do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. We just did the 130 kilometers an hour test. I got 352 kilometers of range but I didn't need AC or heat it's but it's getting hot now and I will need the AC for the next leg. I'm charging here to around 90% go to the other side and then we start the range test. This car's 21 inch wheels has the normal 77 kilowatt hour usable energy battery. This is the all wheel drive version 210 kilowatt. And yeah, it looks amazing in this red. Uh, and we're gonna have some fun driving in a bit. Again, I'm on the way with my range test here. I'm driving now 113. As usual, you know, GPS and uh, display speed doesn't have to be exactly the same. I started at 89%, damn it, I couldn't make it to exactly 90. Oh, but that's okay, just started. Um, I have my climate at 21 and a half degrees. I'm in normal mode and I have the AC on. I learned with other cars, um, of the MEB platform when it's really warm it's 26 degree out there and it's sun full shining on the car eco mode the the AC might be not enough and that's why we're doing it like this um, it's extremely busy really busy uh, I'm trying to do my best I hope that like with the last test uh, after the first 80 kilometers when I go in a different direction, it's fine, but we'll see. I don't know I try I do my best I'm at 64%, so I used 25% of the battery, drove 115 kilometers, so full range would be 460 kilometers. 186 watt hours per kilometer is my average consumption. It's still busy even to the other side. Oh my God, <laughs> Sunday, nice weather, but I see a lot of outside people, not from here, so a lot of holiday people going home coming from the north I guess I think the I think it's another week till uh, uh, holidays in Bavaria stop not yet but so far it has been a nice drive and I tried it by the way with the AC I put it into eco mode and it was too warm I had to put it in normal mode again that's better I turned around, navigated back to the Georgia. It's 102 kilometers to go. The car thinks I arrive in 45 minutes. And I don't think when I drive 110 in 45 minutes, I can drive 100 kilometers. I doubt that. So 
that's not true and it thinks I arrived with 15% so I, I think that as in Volkswagen cars the navigation thinks usually on the highway you drive 130 around that and has a average on the highway I'm guessing 125 120 something like this and this is how it estimates the time and also the consumption I'm sure we arrive with more than the, what did I say 15 15 percent we'll see I'm at 40 percent 169 kilometers of range so 68 kilometers of margin consumption is okay average speed is okay I just went to pee I had to uh, and my head-up display animation tells me it's exactly 100 kilometers which is always amazing of course at 110 I don't have to talk about it the car is as quiet and comfortable as at 130 I have the same it's the same uh, thing with the cruise control and the self-steering that's the only thing annoying here that it doesn't recognize my touch and I get the beeping hey touch the steering wheel a lot I would say every few minutes when it's really straight and I'm relaxing my hand because I don't want to grip like this at some point you're gonna get beep that's just how it is sadly 28 degrees out there still same settings for the AC I was at 39% forgot to film <laughs> uh, which would have been 50% but I calculated now consumption went a bit up by the way and right now I would have 462 kilometers that's also very stable that's very interesting didn't we have 460 before so it's it's really stable here um, like I said uh, consumption is pretty much the same and I even turned around at the same spot so we're gonna have 328 kilometers at the end as well the same as, as in the 130 kilometers an hour test so we will see 325 as before I guess um, even though I went out to pee but I don't think that's maximum of 100 meters more because it was on the highway it didn't make a detour or anything um, yeah so I love that it's a very linear and stable uh, state of charge. I arrived with 18%, so 3% more what the navigation told me. And I arrived 8 minutes later what navigation told me. Drove 325, like I thought, consumption 169. If I take 328 kilometers driven and I drove from 89% down to 18%, I get to again 462 kilometers. So it was almost the same for the whole trip. Awesome! <laughs> I like that. And the uh, average consumption also doesn't change that much. I put all the data in here so you can see tire size and the weather and everything, AC, all the settings. Um, but interesting, they didn't change that much. That's cool. 462 kilometers with AC at 110 right now. Um, I had to speed up a lot when I had to pass cars. That's just how it is because I don't want to slow down the traffic that overtakes stuff. That's just, just what happens. So that's my, my average speed is a bit higher. And now a bit of a comparison to other cars when it comes to consumption and range. This file that you see here is in the description under consumption. You can, it's a Google table that you can look at every time. I try to update it when I can. And what you can see here is the car, the battery size, the range it had at 110, 130. The average consumption, average speed, the temperature, the AC or heat uh, uh, settings and the date and back here you also see the tire size um, and if it's summer or winter tires and we have the Enyaq here with 462 kilometers at 110 and 213 that's a bit no 
353 kilometers uh, at 130. And when we go up, the ID7 Tourer had less range and lower consumption, which is interesting, but also lower speed. And I have, but I had the AC on the same setting, which is interesting. At 130, the same, uh, we had more range. 10 kilometers, lower consumption, lower speed, and also lower temperature and no AC and heat as in here. And this is what I mean where it's very hard to compare cars to each other. Uh, it's just hard. It's just how it is because a tiny bit difference in temperature or driving. I try to do it as constant as I can, but it's very hard, like I said. And when I go to an ID4 uh, GTX, which also has both motors, we I have uh, 60 kilometers less range and i have higher consumption it was a bit slower on that day but it was 15 to 22 degrees in may not 30 degrees so maybe this had an impact and then if i take the normal one so uh no all-wheel drive here and i uh, wear my skoda enyaq 85 that's here look uh, now the enyaq has uh, low range and has higher consumption because it was at 5 to 10 degrees whereas the id7 was at 4 to 13 degrees but the heat was different I always uh, put the heat and everything in a setting that is comfortable, not what the number says. So when I'm cold, I turn it up. But in this uh, graph again, or table, you can see the difference in the range and consumption compared to other cars. Up here, there's more, but these are older cars where I don't always have the average consumption. And I drove also 90 kilometers an hour as well, but now I do 110 and 130. And this table is then always being updated. Charge a bit and then I go home. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. If you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.